Alrighty, not gonna lie, there's not a lot to talk about in the middle of the summer here on a college campus with really nobody on it, so uh, we're gonna play bingo. Play the graphic! Hello, my GCU family and Lope community to my living room and my apartment to the sixth episode. Wow, we're at number six. The sixth episode of the GCU Lope Show. I am your host, Caleb Dwar, and you heard me right. We're playing bingo because really, in this world we live in, on this campus with really nobody around, it's kind of hard to find things to talk about and things to do. But that's not going to stop us here because the big man himself, Brian Mueller, has given us a bingo board of things to do to have a fun-filled day, quarantine style, at GCU. So without further ado, lopes up and let's get out there. All right, world, first and foremost, we're wearing our face shield to be extra careful here. And uh, let's go over this Brian's bingo board, shall we? We got chat with public safety, easy, friends with all of them. GCBC taste test, love stampedes. Make a mealies and herd stop, don't know how to cook, we'll figure that out later. Longboard on campus, I prefer scooters, but it's for the board. Free space, love that. Play basketball with the CAC, hoops. Play with the GCU cats, more of a dog guy, but I know the specialty. Give a virtual tour of campus, luckily I have friends who do that, they can teach me, and take student ID pictures. Well, I'm in my best suit, let's go do that. Brian's bingo board, square number one, bottom corner, take student ID pictures, we're here in that facility with a lovely Jared. Jared is the wizard behind every student ID picture. Well, not everyone, but he will be for today. So uh, without further ado, Jared, let's get ready. I'm in my best suit, my best face shield. Let's take some pics. Hey, do I look good? No, I know it's good. Let's spread it. Here's your host ID. <laughs> my host ID. That's, I think, student ID picture. To the next square. We're live in Grand Canyon Beverage Company, GCBC Taste Test. We are officially certified student. It's time to enjoy one of the delicacies of campus. That is the GCBC Stampede, our very own energy drink. I have three here. The first one here, we have a pina colada strawberry. So uh, here we go. Got to move the mask a little bit. Oh, that is a good kick to it. Tastes like a lollipop. Not too bad. I can definitely taste the colada. Don't know about the pina. The straw, hold on. The strawberry's definitely there. That one's pretty good. I like that one. I'm gonna go to the right side, here we go. This is a, a pineapple peach. This is actually one of my best buddies. His name is Ben. Uh, his favorite drink. It's his usual is what they call it. That's definitely pineapple. That is definitely pineapple. That was tangy, and going from the sweet pina colada to the tangy pineapple was not expected. But it has a great sit. It sits really well. That's actually really good. Good, good job, man. Good choice. Overall, I like both these really good. This is my personal favorite. They add a little bit of a twist to it. It's blue raspberry coconut. Normally, I have a coconut base on all my stampedes. They added blue raspberry, and let's uh, give it a try here. Oh, my gosh. That's God's drink. All these could be God's drinks, let's be honest. But this is a delicacy. 9.9, 9.9, 19.49. GCBC taste test. Off the bingo board. Let's move on. Have our GCBC in us. We're headed to the Canyon Activity Center to play some basketball. It's a little far, so uh, we hopped on a golf cart. Let's go shoot some hoops. Okay, we just arrived to the Canyon Activity Center. We're going to play basketball at the CAC. This place is great, let me tell you. It has like 5,000 basketball courts. That's the hyperbole. But so many basketball courts. It's my favorite place. They do indoor volleyball. They do indoor soccer. It's so fun. I cannot wait to do this. Let's play basketball and the CAC. Forgot it would be closed. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're in a little bit of a dilemma. We can't get in the CAC. However, it does say play basketball at the CAC. It does not specify live basketball, so we're improvising. We're playing the Pigeon Game app, Let's Play Basketball, with my lovely mother at the CAC. So uh, round one, here we go. Buckets. Oh, yes, buckets. Michael Jordan, LeBron, Dirk, everybody. Alrighty, so... Uh, we don't need to talk about who won. 
It wasn't me, but uh, I'm getting a little hungry now, so uh, time to make a meal using the herd stop. Let's go. Okay, we are in the herd stop, and this place is beautiful. Let me tell you all about it. They got all the stuff. It's brand new, about four or five months old, so uh, it's time to make a meal using this place. Let's see what we can get. Alrighty, so one thing that's great about this herd stop is they typically have sandwich being made all day, but due to what's going on, they're not doing that at the moment, but that does not stop us from getting a fantastic pasta and meatballs casa, casaretti, casaretti, yeah. Alrighty, now with every great pasta meal, you gotta get a beverage. Here at the herd stop, we have uh, icy machines, we have some slush puppies, we have uh, the classic Pepsi products, so uh, I think we gotta go with the classic Pepsi limonada. Light lemonade, folks. Quarantine 15 ain't gonna get me. And then finally, to finish off the meal, you gotta go with the classic dessert. I choose classic Twix bar. We got our lunch, we got our drink. Time to go enjoy it. Okay, we ate lunch, we're filled, we're back on the bingo bonanza. Here we go, and it is time to play with the GCU cats. That is right. We have our mascot, Thunder, but then several thousand, what, more like a couple mascots in cat form. And uh, we're at Northam Apartments. We're in the middle of it. That's typically where they like to hang. So uh, let's go uh, find them. All righty. Looking for cats. Looking for some cats to play with. There's what? Oh my gosh, that's a cat. Stay calm. Stay calm. I know what I'm doing. Now the art of GCU cats is to be their friend. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Come back. Play with me. Come back. <sighs> well, that's okay. Always have my mother's love. To the next cat. Meow. Alrighty. We found a sleeping cat. We're going to go play with it. Here we go. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. Nope, nope, no, nope, no, no. Okay. Doesn't want to play. That's, uh, it's okay. I'm fine. We can stop the camera. <laughs> okay. I've just spent the last hour running around for cats. He doesn't want to talk to me. He doesn't want to talk to me. She doesn't want to talk to me. Nobody wants to play. It's 110 degrees outside, so, uh, we're moving on. So, somewhat checked. Play with cats. Uh, we're moving on to give a virtual tour of campus, and, uh, luckily, I have the friend just for that. Okay, so, cats didn't do well, but don't worry, we have one of my buddies, Matt, who not only serves as a virtual tour guy to complete this bingo square, but he also serves as the audio guy for our very own GCU Lope Show. Introduce yourself, my friend. Hey guys, my name is Matthew. Um, like Caleb said, I am a wonderful tour guide over at the Antelope Reception Center, um, and I do predominantly do virtual tours. So what, what, what one of those looks like is that we have a gimbal and an iPhone like this. Obviously, this is just the case right now, but we have someone filming and then an, a tour guide like myself who is able to give a nice virtual tour of the campus. All right, so Matt, I'm here to, it says exactly, give a virtual tour on campus. So we're not gonna do an actual overview of a whole virtual tour, but what are some tips and tricks to make me best prepared to give a virtual tour? The best tip I can ever say when it comes to being a tour guide is being able to make everyone attending your tour laugh as much as okay. possible. I can, I can do the, that. My main go-to story that I do when I want to make everybody laugh is my freshman year, my roommate loved to collect rubber ducks, and by the end of the school year, I had 16 rubber ducks in my shower. So that's always oh, a really wow. funny talking okay. point. So as long as you're making them laugh, making them have a good time, nice. and making them just nice. love yeah. GCU as much as I do. Okay, so make people laugh, and then finally, Matt, if uh, in a virtual tour, how do, I, uh, how do I engage the people with my hands? Do I do anything like uh, just the, 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 the party tricks or anything such as how do I hold the camera? How do I entertain them with my, with my uh, virtually? Well, the best way to, to really give it some pizzazz, they are able to actually type in some questions in real time. So you're able to answer those questions. Um, as long as you have great body language, you're able to talk to them and really engage the camera um, nice. and be able to talk to them that way. It helps them really feel like they're here on campus. Nice. So overall, do you think I'd be a good virtual tour guide? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I, I guess every tour you got to end with a lopes up, right? Oh, yeah. Always. Lopes up. Next square, here we come. Two more squares to go here in the Bryant's bingo board, and we are on a long board on campus. So, uh, not gonna lie, I'm not a, a big long board guy. I typically uh, like to scooter. 
So, uh, this should be interesting. But, uh, hey, I'm in it for the show, in it for the lope, so, uh, let's longboard. Okay. Yep. How do you turn? How do you turn? I'm going left. I'm going left. Going left. Okay. I just need to know how to turn. Act like I'm walking. Act like I'm walking. Act like I'm walking. Oh, that's a bump. That's a bump. I like go fast. Pulls up. Gets to their location. Lopes up. This has been longboarding. Somewhat. Next square. Here we go. Alrighty, we have made it to the final square of Brian's bingo board. That is right, it is time to chat with public safety, or in my case, chat with my personal buddy, Jerry. All right, everybody, we're officially live with Chat with Jerry. Jerry, introduce yourself for the folks. Jerry Coleman, public safety officer. Public safety officer. Uh, speaking of public safety officer, Jerry, what's uh, your favorite part of the job? My favorite part of the job is safety and security, making sure all kids at GCU is safe and positive. Mm, safe and positive. Well, as a former kid of GCU for four years, I can say personally, I always felt safe and secure under Jerry. Me and you have had some pretty good memories the last four years in this in this building. Uh, when it comes to the kids of GCU, what's your favorite part of just being around them 24-7? The greatest part is making sure I uh, uplift them when they are down and keeping them in a good spirit. Mm, in a good spirit. Well, Jerry, you're actually a public safety officer. You're a friend of mine, but you're also a big fan of the show, I heard. Uh, you actually enjoy the episodes, I see. Do you have a favorite episode that you, uh, you've, you've seen in the past? Uh, the first one I seen was uh, when you was introducing the athletes, uh, basketball athletes uh, at yeah. GCU. It was great, and uh, that made me uh, watch your show more and more and more. Well, Jerry, actually, a funny story. Jerry actually got upset at me one time. Not really upset, but I forgot to tell him a show wasn't going out Friday. I come in here to say hi to him, and he's like, you didn't tell me a show wasn't coming out. So I make sure to always tell them. Well, Jerry, uh, you know, this is for incoming freshmen. If you had to tell an incoming freshman, what's the best way to make the most out of your GCU life? Stay focused. Stay focused. Well, Jerry, uh, let's uh, end the show with a little lopes up, shall we? Lopes up. Let's chat with Jerry. And we finished Brian's Bingo. And that's going to wrap up this edition of the GCU Lope Show. Thank you to Jerry, the security guard, the GCU cats, and everybody involved in showing you guys and have a fun-filled day of quarantine here at GCU. Like we do every show, today's verse is Philippians 4.4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. We'll see you guys in a couple weeks. This is the GCU Lope Show and Lope Shop. Ah, dang it. See you guys in a couple weeks. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the GCU Lope Show. Make sure to subscribe and follow us on all the socials down below to get all things GCU and, well, all things GCU Lope Show. See you next time. Stay safe and Lope's up.